squash, roasted butternut squash soup. Really easy, but um, delish, right? We're gonna start with our holy trinity. I'm gonna cut up some veggies. We're gonna do our carrots. I got new knives. It's pretty exciting. I don't cut myself. Uh, yeah, Sunday, December 8th, and I was just pretty busy all day with yet another dance dance recital, but it was the last one, so now we're good. Now we are down to just chilling mode. <laughs> right? Doubtful. But um, at least no more performances yet, and we're going to have Christmas coming up, and now on the weekends, like, Next Sunday, I can just relax, I think. I mean, I swear, probably not, but there's there's a chance. There's a chance in hell. So anyway, I just figured I don't feel like going grocery shopping yet because I'm going to do Christmas this year and I'm going to cook a big, big, big dinner. So I'm gonna wait and do a huge grocery shop next weekend and get it all prepared. I'm really excited to host my family in my new house, which I love, by the way. I'm finally like kind of making it home. And I've been gone a lot, and so, I don't know, it finally feels good to be settled. I just organized my garage. I, that's where I'm gonna put like a, a gym down there. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna have gym equipment or anything, except for, oh, it's a surprise, you'll see. There's one piece of equipment. Can you guess what it might be? Gonna be an awesome surprise anyway um but yeah just like a big open like for dancing we're gonna dance a lot so that's what we do we're a dance fan <laughs> but uh yeah so this knife is freaking me out a little bit so holy trinity i love it when you can find like a small yellow onion it's the best I always feel like I always use just like half and then I'll put the other half in a ziplock and then I just, it kind of maybe goes to waste. Not, not all the time, but I just love a small one. So this recipe, um, Costco had already cubed, peeled and cubed um, butternut squash. So I took advantage and got that. And I roasted that at 400 degrees for like 30 minutes. Um, kind of put some olive oil. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. You could put herbs in it, like thyme. In fact, this recipe really could use some thyme, but I don't have any, so we're not gonna do it. But that would be a really, really good thing to put in here. But I just roasted it with salt and pepper and oil, extra virgin olive oil at 400 degrees for about half an hour, 35, 40 minutes, I don't even know, something like that, till they're tender. Stir them once. You kinda wanna get, the whole point of roasting them also is to get that caramelized, caramelized thing going on. So. Um, got our Holy Trinity. I'm gonna put that in the um, stove top. I think we should move it over there. Maybe I'll pause it. Hello. So I have my extra virgin olive oil heating up um, on my stove top. It's probably warm enough now. I'm gonna put my Holy Trinity in there. God, am I using that thing and it's not even a thing? I probably am. <laughs> that's like how I, that's how I roll. I think that's, that's, I think. That's what I call it. That's what I call it. That's what a, a holy trinity is. Quote it. Michaela Borman says it is. So those are all going to kind of get stirred up in there. Cook them kind of. Cook them until they're tender. Probably like seven minutes or so. Caramelizing is always okay too. So like, you know, the more, the more flavor you can build in a soup, the better. That's why it's best to always saute your veggies first because it kind of gets that like that flavor going. So I have better than bouillon in here with some really, really hot boiling water. And I'm just kind of getting that diluted a little bit. This recipe is so easy. It's almost not even worth, it's not even worth a cooking show. Because <laughs> all you do is saute up your veggies. No, oh, a couple things. Like this time I mentioned you should have some time. That would be really good to have in here. It'd be good to roast with your butternut squash when you do it. And then also even as like a garnish on top, like some fresh thyme, it would be really good. I don't have any, so we're not using it. And then also potatoes. I really wish I had potatoes because that would fatten this up a little bit. So 
Um, I would actually put roasted potatoes in with the squash maybe and do that. Um, uh, that would just fatten it up, but we're not, we don't have that. So I'm going to just kind of real basic. So we're going to get these veggies all translucent and tender. We're going to add our butternut squash, which I roasted already. I'll grab it. Hey, Dad, I'm wearing shoes. They're not heels. I don't want to cook in heels. Like, who does that? Right? Here is, I cooked it or baked it off yesterday. So anyway, this is just that much. I don't think it's going to make this much of a soup anyway, but no one else is going to eat it. I wish they would. They'd like it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Cook, cook, cook. Mm. Mm. Just daydreaming. We are just coming off of like crazy dance. It's just been so crazy. I'm trying to think of what to talk about. What's new? What is new? Um, God, I'm a lively bunch tonight. My head's in the clouds. Violet, do you have anything to say? Um, you have a bindi? Oh, uh, or from your snack, your protein pack. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to say anything about how dance went today? How do you feel? Yeah. Good. I think you did good too. Are you glad it's over? Mm -hmm. The performances for now? Can you, what, are you gonna make? Why don't you announce what the spring performance will be? Peter Pan. Oh, you better like. You're not even on film right now. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. And you already know that you're going to be lost girls because there's so many girls in your contemporary class. I was dying. Okay, so. Oh, it's for jazz? Oh, they're jazz. Oh, that's going to be fun. It's pink, yeah. Well, again, a lot of girls. That's not that many girls. There's six, six jazz, girls. Twelve in the Contempt. Yeah. So I think that's. Either way, I was like dying of laughter because in the Nutcracker, the contemporary class she's in, there's like 12 of them at least, I think. And they were, they were bonbons and their outfits were like so cute and they were just, but backstage, it's like every, you know, backstage, like all the parents have to like sit, some parents have to sit back there if they volunteer for it. There's always got to be a parent volunteer for each class. The parent volunteer for the contemporary bonbons was just, every time I'd walk by, I'd be like, oh my God, because there was so freaking many. They were like, ding, 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 with these like ding dong, mil there was like millions of them. It was like herding cats, cracking me up. They were. Also got a nice fresh loaf of French bread. Slather it with butter and dip it in. It's gonna be so yummy. So hungry. I'm gonna try to make more like health conscious meals because I need to go on a diet for sure. And everything I seem to be cooking lately has just been like, you know. Oh my god, you scare me. Uh-uh. This knife freaks me out. Brand new knife, it's weird. 
It's like whenever at work, when I get like a new tool or when I get like my shears sharpened, I cut myself that day. It's just, it's like just the way it is. So like, God, I don't want to cut myself. You want to help me edit? Yeah. All right. So those carrots aren't are not done, but I'm gonna pour this in. Butternut squash in the dish. It's just gonna be so yummy. Oh, and like I put a little bit of brown sugar. I forgot about that. I did like salt and pepper and olive oil when I roasted those with like sprinkled some brown sugar on it. So it's kind of sweet. It's kind of a sweet soup. Um, also, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go crazy and add some heavy cream because again, I'm just why not? I really wish I had time. I almost feel like I shouldn't even do this recipe. I should just let it be. Carrots are almost done. Just hanging, waiting, waiting to turn it off. I think I'm gonna actually dash that heavy cream in there. That's why I'm back. In the meantime, I just have a couple more minutes. Oh my God, I know what's new. I just got done being sick. The worst. I had a sinus infection that hit me on Thanksgiving. I started getting a headache and then Friday, I didn't have anything to do. Such a good day, I just like laid around and did nothing and it was so good, but headache, headache, really weird headache. And then subsequently like this weird vertigo, like I had like vertigo and I I think it wasn't vertigo, but I think it was like a sinus infection induced, it like threw my equilibrium off. So like every time I'd move, I would just be like, ugh. And so then Saturday was the nutcracker and I, I dance in it too, so do the girls, but we had on stage tech dress rehearsal starting at like two, all like two through five o'clock and then showtime was at 7 p.m. and like by then I was really freaking feeling it, like it was real bad, like I was napping in between things and like laying on a table and like trying not to be dizzy. But then did it, like pulled through and just did it. The performance went really well on Saturday night. And I thought, like I just kind of felt like, oh my God, easy, done, did it. Like now tomorrow's a breeze. It's just one performance, two o'clock in the afternoon, no big deal. But I woke up Sunday morning dying. Like I cried, like ugly cried for like hours. Michael was like, are you okay mentally? And I was like, I fucking don't know, I'm so sick. To the point where I like, couldn't really move or get out of bed, but like I had to, regardless, like even if I backed out of my role, which I would never do, I just can't do it, but I still had to get up and get two little girls, full makeup, hair in a clean bun, no one can do that, Michael can't do that, you know, so it's like I had to do it, so like, up I got, and it was awful, I mean I cried a lot, it was bad, it was real bad, I mean imagine like having vertigo and being on a stage with like stage lights and like twirling and twirling and twirling and it was just like oh god but I did it like I can't even believe it if I could do it almost like it was worse than like getting birth like I don't know how I did this like but I did but now I'm on the mend and I feel really good today so much better today oh so it's looking good oh my goodness I think I'm gonna get the the heavy cream and I'm gonna put some in there let's turn this off This is gonna be yummy. Okay, I'm just gonna put not a lot, maybe maybe a lot. <laughs> a couple of big dashes. Oh my. Okay. Now that just cools. I'm gonna taste it. Forget about the potatoes, forget about the time. God damn it, this is so good. So anyway, that's gonna cool down. I'm gonna go finish cleaning my garage and then I'll be back and we'll blend it, baby. Let's blend it. All right, let's do this. I haven't even prepared, I just kinda did it. So, got my Ninja Blender here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna go grab this soup. It's really 
feeling heavy. Oh my. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's all cooled down a little bit. I mean, you're serving a soup, so you don't want it to be cold. Oh my god. Oh, I don't mind doing that. Get all the chunks out. Get out. <laughs> I wish I had some music. Do it to the beat. Good enough. How much did I spill? Oh my god. This is so good. Oh my god, it's so freaking good. Okay. Let's blend, shall we? Good to know, because like the liquid thing, my, I, okay. I wish my food processor had it, because that's when I normally would use a liquid to like blend up a sauce or something. Anyway, okay, so this is on, power on, and let's blend. Let's blend. Let's blend. Oh, it has to lock. <laughs> is this the wrong lid? Oh, look at that. Oh learning together. This must line up with this, I'm guessing. Maybe? Let's blend. <laughs> oh. There's an arrow right here. I get it. Maybe I have to do this. Oh. Duh. Let's blend. Yes! Oh. Done. Unbelievable. Good. Okay. We have our soup. <laughs> All mixed up. Hard to see. Um, I have a fresh loaf of French bread that I kind of cut up. We're going to butter those up. And that's it. So gonna go eat dinner so hungry I will recap the recipe stay tuned for like pictures of the finished product and uh, I have no brain anyway um yeah stay tuned for the plated version with the recap recipe have a wonderful Sunday everybody I hope you're spending it with your families hope you're having a good day thanks for tuning in